two other things you might want to look for in a computer. If you are just going to be doing internet browsing or email uh, or word processing, the basic stuff, you don't need what's called a graphics card. Sometimes they call it video RAM, but generally we call it a graphics card. What a graphics card is, it's dedicated memory that's just for graphics. In other words, just for video, just for pictures, for stuff like that. So unless you're doing uh, this high level stuff, right? Video editing and uh, you know some of the other kids like games, for example, that requires a graphics card. If you're buying a computer for yourself and you're only going to be doing email and stuff like that, you don't need to worry about the graphics card. What if you're using iPhoto? Do you need a graphics card now? Uh, no, iPhoto actually runs fairly well without the graphics card. So I use it without one on the laptop. Mm -hmm. Sort of the uh, the distinction as far as as what qualifies as the graphics that a graphics card works with. Um, it's sort of just 2D versus 3D. Anything like photos, pictures, um, anything that you just kind of see normally on the screen, like a internet window, that's all 2D graphics. It's like flat, like a piece of paper. Um, that's not really going to do anything on your graphics card. It's the more 3D graphics and special effects. So like a game that's creating this, this 3D world for you, or um, if you were creating um, 3D animations, um, like you see like uh, the Pixar movies, that sort of thing. Um, or if you were going to be doing watching YouTube and stuff like no, that. No, that, that that's that's all. That's playing. Playing video doesn't require that. Okay. Playing video, you don't need a powerful graphics card. Okay. Um, just creating video that you would. Now there is one exception. If you're going to be doing basic video editing, you don't need to worry about the graphics card. But if any of you get really into it as a hobbyist and you pick up a piece of software like Final Cut Express or Final Cut Pro, once you start upgrading and doing high level video, it's a very good idea to have the graphics card. Because whenever you do special effects, or when you apply filters or things to modify the image, you'll see that it's a lot faster with the graphics card than without it. So that's one notable example. How about uh, uh, AutoCAD or something of that sort? That is very, very much something you want for a graphics card for. That's, that's the type of 3D creation that you'll want that for. Yeah. Um, anything that's, that's sort of doing that 3D in, in real time, that's not kind of sitting there processing it, but doing it right in front of you, that's that's where that really comes in handy. Does Google Earth use uh, video cards? Yes, it would It would take advantage of that, for sure. And we were actually gonna gonna talk about Google Earth a little later too and show you that, so. Photoshop. Photoshop is more of the 2D, it doesn't require the graphics card so much, definitely. Although it always helps. <laughs> it, it may not be necessary, but no matter what, it always helps. Right. If, if you're on a budget, it's one of those things that it's good to figure out whether you feel like you really need it or not. Um, but if you are not as concerned about the price of the machine, having it is never going to hurt you. Um, um, how much does it cost? How much is it wrong? I, well, it's one of those things that it, you can upgrade it to your heart's content. You can get the really, really crazy high-end one and it's going to cost you sev several hundred dollars more. Or you could get just a, a basic one that's going to be better than not having one. And um, it'll it'll just be a minor addition, upgrade to computer, hundred bucks, fifty bucks, something like that. Mm -hmm. Generally, you can't really install them afterwards, though. It's mm -hmm. something that you have to buy um, as a part of the notebook to begin with. Um, but it, you, the 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 tricky part is that they're not named very clearly. They all have their kind of brand names. You'll see things like GeForce or um, the ATI or NVIDIA, things like that. Um, the, and then they'll have some numbers after them, like a 5600 or an 8600 or something like that. Um, and generally, they get more powerful as those numbers get bigger. <laughs> but uh, but it's not it's not a clear cut thing. It's it's something that you, um, if you are concerned with it, it's probably worth putting in a little research. Or if you come into us, and hopefully you will, um, we try to kind of clear that up for you as much as possible, so you don't have to go hundred specs. Uh, that's something that pretty much, if you can run the software, mm -hmm. if you can run the program that does the video editing, uh, that'll be fine. You won't have to worry about it. You need an iCloud or something to... Oh, no. Yeah. Any computer can do it. Would you repeat that question, please? Uh, the question was if you wanted to add music. If you're doing video editing of a home movie or you know, an event, for example, and you wanted to add music to the background, uh, you know, do you need anything special? Do you need any special hardware? And the answer is no. Um, you actually can do that. I mean, as long as you can run the program, you won't have any problems with it. For example, at the moment we are taping this event on that camera and it's got a built-in microphone so that would come in sort of as one um, video with its own audio, but we also have a much better mic set up in the middle of the table here. Um, so we'll be actually taking this into a, a video editing program like Final Cut or uh, Adobe Premiere on the Windows side is a good program um, and, and basically lining the two of those up. And that's not something that's partic particularly difficult to do. As, as he said, if you can run the software to begin with, it, it really is pretty pretty easy.